Hallelujah. Glory be to God forever and forever. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Welcome fellow believers. You are all welcome in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today I want to share with you the Bible. We are going to the scripture. Let me see. We are reading today. We want to do Bible study today, Saturday. I want to do this scripture here because I know so many Christians uh, are really confused about this. So I want to read, that is Romans 6 verse 14. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but you are under grace. So I want us to talk about that today because um, there is so much uh, confusion in the body of Christ concerning the law and concerning um grace because the bible talk about the uh, the law it, it really explains about the law a lot in the book of um of uh, romans uh, you can say romans 7 romans 7 explains a lot about the law here it's, it, it explains here it is a wonderful mystery you know it's talk about the law that the law is like a kind of uh, husband that you have let us read together about this law matter it says here in Romans 7 it says knowing you not brothers that for I speak to them that knows the law how that the law have dominion over a man as long as he live so for the woman which had a husband is bound to bound by the law to that husband so long as he live but if the husband be dead then she is now loose from the law of the husband so then if while the husband liveth she is then married to another man then she will be called an adulteress but if the husband be dead then she is now free from the law so that she is now no more adulteress though she is married to another for so wherefore my brethren you also have become dead to the law by the body of christ that you should not be married to another even to him who is raised from the dead that you should now bring forth fruit unto god amen in the name of jesus he said for when we were we, we were that is talking past them where we were in the flesh that means in the sinful nature the motion of sin which were by the law did work in our members to bring forth fruit unto death but now we are now delivered from the law that uh bring that being dead therein we were held that we should now save in the newness of the spirit and not anymore in the owners of the letter the owners of the letter just mean the ten commandments god says that in this verse 6 that we have been delivered now from the law we died to the law because when you become a born again christian you are a new creation because we are still in the series of the new creation the bible says if anyone be in christ is a new creation so when you are in christ you are now a new creation you are now free from the law in the body of christ the bible talk explained that in the book of romans 6 to you so you are free because you died to sin and you died to the law because the it, it explains here also that um Paul, because now like okay let me explain this mystery first of this uh, um, romans uh, uh, 7. the mystery of the romans 7 is just like you can say that the law is just your own nature but when you come to Christ, you die to the law. So now, when now the, the Bible talk about the law as a husband, it's like you are married to him. Or the flesh, the own nature that you used to have. It's like a husband. You are married to this husband, right? And then the law is supposed to 
to show you how to live if you are still in your own nature you still have dominion over you so the law is like a schoolmaster or like a husband that you cannot please that always beats your head you can just say that you know so we the bible talks now about how we are free you, you cannot be free i mean you cannot be free from this mr law because if you go now to another husband they will call you an adulteress but the only way you can be free from this husband like this unkind husband this husband who is not understanding this husband will no matter how you do what it can you cannot please this husband so the only way you can free from this husband is by dying that's what the bible is explaining is by either the husband die or you die that's what he was explaining here you know so either the husband die or you have to die so that you can be free but if you read romans 6 it's telling us now how we die now the bible explains in romans 6 that we died now to mr law is explained in verse 6 he said knowing this that our own nature our own man is crucified with him that the body of sin may be destroyed that from henceforth we should not save sin for anyone that is dead is free from sin because at the beginning when god created adam and eve and asked them not to eat put them in the garden and told them not to eat of the of the um, of the fruit of uh, good and evil it was a commandment that he gave them but the bible says that they disobeyed the commandment because they say sin is the transgression of the law so if you read the book of uh, <laughs> of uh, first corinthians i like first corinthians 15. first corinthians 15 explains you here how about that how law is it tells you here in first corinthians 15 it says here that uh, oh dead where is your stink first corinthians 15 let's read from verse 55 it's so oh dead where is your stink oh grave where is your victory the stink of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law thanks be unto god who has given us victory through our lord jesus christ yes the stink of death is sin because the bible says that before where well, after even adam and eve they committed that crime they sin in the garden they said the, the 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 law was not imputed to anybody throughout that time until they came now to the time of moses moses and uh, uh, and aaron where god gave moses now the law so when moses gave now the law that was when now sin was imputed now to anybody so before it was not imputed people were not you know there was not this ten commandment when the children of israel came out of egypt that's when god started to tell them now that okay you cannot go here you cannot do that you cannot do this you cannot do that you know try to tell them about the law let, let me continue hallelujah yeah glory be to god forever in the name of jesus fellow believers you are welcome in the mighty name of jesus today i want us to do some little bible study i want to read romans 6 verse 14 for sin shall not have dominion over you because you are not under the law but under god's grace so what does that really mean so the bible talk about how when we come to jesus christ we died in the body of christ we are free from the law because the bible says if anyone be in christ is a new creation all things have passed away and everything has become new so the law is like a husband that you cannot please so jesus christ is the only one who fulfill the law so in the book of romans uh, 10 it explains to us that we we are romans 10 say that let me read here romans 10 4 says that for christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believe amen in the name of the lord jesus christ so when you become a born again christian you believe in jesus christ jesus christ now become the end of the law because he is the only one who can fulfill the law for you so you cannot fulfill the law by yourself amen if you read now the book of let me go to timothy first timothy first timothy here first timothy 1 verse 9 he said knowing this let's read together 
He said, knowing this, that the law is not made for the righteous person. Are you a righteous person? Are you a born-again Christian? If you are a born-again Christian and a righteous person, he said, the law is not made for you. But the law is made for the lawless, the disobedient, for the ungodly, for the sinners, for the unholy, for the profound, the murderers, the fathers, and the, uh, the, the murderers of fathers, the murderers of mothers, and for the manslayer, for the warmongers, for those who defy themselves with mankind, that is the homosexual, for manslayers, for liars, for any prejudiced person. And if there is any other thing that is contrary to a sound doctrine, you are under the law. So the law of Moses, because the God gave the law to Moses, the Bible says he gave grace and truth now to Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is the one that brought grace. And the Bible says we are justified by only by faith in Jesus Christ. We are not justified by the law. So I, I remember that in the book of Acts um, 15, the church had that discussion because they knew the Pharisees they were telling the 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 um, the uh, how do they, the Gentiles, the new born again believers, to go and circumcise and to keep the law. So Paul was addressing it that they went Paul and the other with Barnabas they went right to Jerusalem to go and address that and they discuss about it. So they came back and brought the, the, the news to them. The message said, okay, no, the Gentiles, you are always saved by faith. It's not to keep any law. Because if you want to keep the, if you want to keep the law, the, um, the other apostles, they were saying that even the law was given to us by our forefathers, but we ourselves were not able to keep it. So the Jews, the new Gentiles are not supposed to keep the law if you are in the body of Christ because Jesus Christ is the end of the law for everyone that believes. So they came and told and said, okay, you can just don't, don't uh, eat uh, things that is strangled, don't deal with blood, with things that uh, are with, with blood, don't uh, worship idols, don't do fornication. Those are the simple things that they gave them. He said, but for God keeping the Ten Commandments, and all the laws that the Jews have, because the Jews, they have almost about 600 and something laws. You know, the different kind of ceremonial laws, all kind of the Ten Commandments, all these things. They, they, they themselves, they are not even able to keep it. And the Bible talk about that in the book of Galatians and say, if you even miss from keeping one of the law, you have all fallen from grace. Let me go to Galatians. Because Galatian church had the same situation. Galatian church, after they have been, they were saved by grace through faith, they told back to go and start keeping the law paul paul now even addressed peter in the galatian in, in galatian was telling he said you are a jew why are you compiling the gentiles to keep the law even you who is a jew you cannot keep the law he even went to the extent to tell him and say here in verse 16 he said knowing this that not knowing this that a man is not justified by the works of the law but by faith in jesus christ even we have believed Jesus Christ and we have been justified by faith in Christ and not by the works of the law. Because by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Then continue, he came here. He said, when a curse is anybody, he said, you are under the curse if you cannot keep the whole law. Because when you, you keep one and you miss one, you are under the curse. So uh, Paul was even addressing the Galatia church. He said, we'll be with you. You saw Jesus died for you on the cross. Did you receive the Holy Spirit because you kept the law? He was explaining it all here in Galatia, in Galatia 3. Oh, did you receive it? You received the Holy Spirit and miracles and everything because you believe in Jesus Christ, what he did on Calvary. They said they because they believe so he said why did you you start well what ha happens to you what hinders you so the whole galatian book is explaining about that if you read galatian the whole galatian is explaining he said if the even continue in galatian 3 here verse uh, 21 he said if uh is the law then against the promise of god he said god forbid if there have been any law which could have given life then righteousness would have come through the law but the scripture says conclude here that all are under sin that the promise by faith of jesus christ might be given to anyone that believe yeah everybody is under sin the bible says we have all sinned and come short to the glory of god so it's only by faith 
you know it's not by keeping the law and the ten commandments you see now some some different religion in the world like buddhist and um, some kind of muslim all kind of they have sharia law they have all kind of law wash your food clean your hair wear long gown keep long beards don't eat pig don't do this drug ramadan pray five times a day all kind of things that they do but that cannot give them the holy spirit that cannot save them because that's why i was saying that if there was any law that could 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 uh, could uh, uh somebody can keep that can give you internal life to enter heaven then everybody would have kept kept the law but it is only we are saved by faith it, and true grace is by by grace through faith is not by the law the bible says christ came to redeem us from the cause of the law if you read Galatians 3 here christ came to redeem us from the cause of the law because cause is everyone who hang on the tree he said cause by then so that the blessing of abraham might come unto us the gentile through jesus christ that we might receive we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith so we receive the promise any promise that god promised uh, the church or the body of Christ or the child of God is only true faith. It's not because of what you do. It's not because of your good works. Then Paul even continued here. He was saying that the uh, in uh, he said the law was just like a schoolmaster. He said the law was like a schoolmaster to bring us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. But after we have come now to to now we have come now to faith. He said, we are no longer under the schoolmaster. That means under the law again. For we are all now uh, children of God by faith in Jesus Christ. For anyone that is baptized into Christ, you have put on Christ. There is neither Jews nor Greek or born nor free, male or female. We are all one in Christ. And then continues to say, if you be Christ, if you are you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and you are joined here according to the promise. Then Paul continues here in the book of... Uh, here in the book of Galatians 5, he was explaining here. He said, if you go and be circumcised, he was telling the Galatian church. He said, if you go and be circumcised, he said that if you be circumcised, then Christ profit you nothing. I testify to every man that is circumcised that you have you are debtor to keep the whole law so if you want to go can keep one law that you have to keep the whole law then christ has become of no effect unto you so whosoever is justified by the law you have fallen from grace if you want to say okay it's the law that justify me then you have fallen from grace that is what paul was explaining here in the in the book of Galatians, he explained a lot of things about the law and i like the mystery the 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 best part is the why sin cannot have dominion over us because we are now inside the body of christ and jesus christ fulfilled the law for us romans uh, 7 explain that say so we die to sin in the body of christ because when jesus christ died we died so Romans 7 has a really amazing mystery. It was talking here about that the law is like something that dominates and controls your life throughout when you are on the face of the earth. And uh, until you die to the law or the law died, Mr. Law died, then you are married to somebody else. If not, the law will have dominion and control you all the time. If you say, okay, you are, you cannot divorce the law and say, okay, let me go and marry to another person. The, 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 he was giving an illustration here that you will be as if you are an adulterer. He said, but now when you become a born again Christian, he explains here, wherefore, my brothers, you have now become dead to the law by the body of Christ. Because how you can be free from this Mr. Law is to die. And the Bible talk in the book of Galatians 2 20 say, We are crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, we live. It's not us that is living again, but it's Christ that is living his life now in us. The life that we live now in this body we live by the faith of the son of god the one who died and rose again for us so he said that in the body of christ when you come to the body of christ you die your body of christ that is how you can be free from the law so now when you die to the body of christ then your own nature is dead then you are free from the law you see it reads here wherefore brothers we have now become dead now to uh dead to the law by the body of christ that we should now be married to another, the one who died and rose again from the dead. They continue and say that 
where we were in our flesh, that means when you were still in your sinful nature, because when you come to Christ, you are not any longer in your sinful nature, because your old man with the sinful nature died with Jesus Christ. So it tells you when you were in your sinful nature, the motion of sin, that means because that Mister Flesh, that that old nature is the one that Mister is the one that caused you to sin. He said, but when you died, then you were free from it. But when you were, which means past and you were in the flesh, the motion of sin, which were by the law did work in your members to bring you forth for to death but now he was telling you now you are in the body of christ but now you have been delivered from the law that being dead daring you were held that you should now be saved in the newness of the spirit that is by the holy spirit not in the oldness of the letter the oldness of the letter is the ten commandment and all the law that god gave to the children of israel when they came out of egypt amen so if you read Romans 8, the Bible talks here that in verse 2, it says here that for the law that we have now in the Holy Spirit, in the life in Christ Jesus, has made us free now from the law of sin and death. So the Bible explains in the book of Galatians in many different places that if you now belong now to Jesus Christ, you are not under the law again because Jesus Christ fulfilled the law for you because we could not fulfill the law. So that Romans 7 is explaining about a very amazing mystery. That Romans 7 is talking about this Mr. Law that and so is explaining about this Mr. Law that you cannot please. You know, the law is somebody you cannot please. No matter what you do, it will still hit you on your head like a schoolmaster. Then you have to die to the law or the law has to die. So then the Bible says that we died with Jesus Christ. So that is how you can be free from this Mr. Lord. So that you can be married to Mr. Awesome. Jesus Christ now, they say, the one who died and rose again from the dead for us. That is how you can be free from the law. Romans, I mean, Galatia was explaining here that if you become, it was explaining here, he said, if you are led by the Spirit of God, then you are not under the law. Because now the Holy Spirit now is your guide. It's just like you go to a country and then you, you, you want to ask whether you want to have a guide or you want to have somebody or a map. You want to have a map to go around the city and then, or you want to have a guide. So the Holy Spirit is like a guide who knows the city, who knows the place, who can just bring you to the place easily. You can find the direction and the address easily. Or you want to get the map by yourself and get lost and get lost before you take so much time to find the place. That's just how it is. The law was like a map, they call it, like a map or a schoolmaster that direct us and say, don't go there, don't do this, don't do that, you know. So now when you become a born again Christian, now your old nature died, the Holy Spirit now come and start living in you. Your body becomes his temple, the temple of the Holy Spirit. And now the Holy Spirit is now become your guide. He is the one that directs you. You are not under the law. The law, I read you in the book of uh, First uh, uh, this in Timothy 9, that the law is for the lawless, people who are for the manslayers, for the warmongers, for the killers. That is for and the liars. The law is for them. But when you become the, in the body of Christ, you are a new creation. The Holy Spirit become now your guide. He is the one that guides you and take care of you and direct you and say, you know, don't do this, don't do that. The only law that the God, uh, Jesus Christ gave us was the law of love. He said, love one another. That was the only law. So most uh, uh, power is, was explaining here in Galatians 5. He said, if you want to go and circumcise yourself, then you have to keep the whole law. And even if you go to do that, you know, if you go to circumcise yourself and to try to keep the law, you have fallen from God's grace. Because the Bible says that we are safe by grace through faith. It is not through the law. That is why the law cannot have dominion over you because you are not under the law again. You are not under the law of Moses again. You are under now God's grace because you died to Mr. Law. Amen. In Jesus' name. And you are married now to Jesus Christ, you Mr. Awesome, the one who died and rose again. You are delivered from the law. We are free from the law. The Bible says we are free from the law. We are free from sin. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So, so how can we then live? So the Bible says that you have to die. That means when you come to Christ. You have to die with Jesus Christ to sin. That baptism that you used to go do, the, after when you get baptized, that is the symbol of death. 
the dead. The Bible says anyone that is dead is free from sin. So you died with the Lord Jesus Christ unto sin. That is why sin cannot have dominion over you. You died to sin. That's why it was explaining here in Romans. It says here, for anyone that is dead is free from sin. So if you have been died, you died with Christ, you believe that you shall also live with him, knowing that Christ being raised from the dead, died no more. So the dead have no dominion over him. For he died, for in that he died, he died unto sin once, and in that that he lived, he lived unto he live unto right, he live now unto God. Likewise, reckon yourself. That means you have to think the same way that you reckon yourself. You have to be the same way that you you are dead indeed unto sin, but you are li alive unto God through Jesus Christ, your Lord. So now sin cannot have dominion over you because you are not under the law, but you are under God's grace because Jesus Christ, you are in Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ fulfilled the law for you. So you have to die. So that is why we see how Paul, they were asked in this situation here. He said, how can we then, uh, he said, what shall we then say to this thing? Can we continue to sin that grace may happen? He said, God forbid, how can you that is dead to sin live any longer? They will say, no, you not, he's asking you a question. There are many of us that were baptized, that were baptized unto Christ. We were baptized unto his death. Therefore, we were buried together in baptism unto his death, that we shall be unto his death. That likewise, as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should be walking now in the newness of life. Yeah, we were planted together in his death, together in Jesus Christ's death. That, that that is our old nature that that means the flesh that means the flesh that was controlled by the law was put to death with jesus christ on the cross that is what romans 6 6 says that knowing this that our old man was crucified with him that the body of sin might be destroyed that from henceforth we cannot save sin that's why sin cannot have dominion over you just like you go to tell somebody and say ah you know you meet a man and you're telling the man and say yeah you, you, you tell somebody else i said you know that this man is pregnant somebody will be like what the heck how can a man be pregnant because it's impossible that's why it was asking yes so don't you know that so when we so many of us that were very so many of us that were were so don't you know many of us that were baptized into christ we were baptized into his death so we died with jesus christ the bible says we died to sin so sin cannot have dominion over us again that's why paul was explaining that i'm crucified with christ in roma in galatians 2 20. nevertheless i live it's not i that live again but it is christ that is living his life in me the life that i live now i live by the faith of the son of god who died and rose again for me I am not like um, the Bible also explain uh, how so many other religions they're trying to keep the law but they cannot go to heaven because of keeping of the different laws and you know you see some people will say okay different church some church will say okay let me keep this about the but the Bible called Jesus Christ our Sabbath our rest when you come to Christ in the book of Hebrews for you are entering into God's rest but some people keep a law for Sabbath day. Okay, if you don't keep Sabbath day, you will not go to heaven or oh, this and this. Or oh, some people keep law or say, okay, if you don't keep Ramadan, oh, this. all those laws, eh, Jesus Christ came to redeem us from the cause of the law. That is what the Bible says, because the Bible says in the beginning, when God commanded Adam and Eve not to eat of the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, they did they, they disobey God and eat. And the Bible says sin they they, they receive the penalty of sin, and sin is the transgression of the law. So when you you transgress God's law, and when God says don't go there, don't do this, and you do it, that is sin. But Christ came now to deliver us from the cause of sin because there was consequences of sin. Because the Bible said the wages of sin is death. So there is consequences of sin. And Jesus Christ came to redeem us by us back from the cause of the law. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By becoming a cause for us. The Bible said cause is everyone who hang on the tree. So we are made righteous now. Not by the law. But we are made righteous by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit is now our guide. It's not the law that is our guide. So now we are not under the law, but the Bible says we are under now God's grace. Amen. 
because we they say if righteousness come by the law then christ died in vain so there's a right standing with god comes only by faith in believing what jesus did for you on the cross of Calvary. because god made christ to be seen for us who knew nothing so that we should be made now the righteousness of god in christ jesus we have now a new law the bible speaks that in the book of uh, the book of uh, romans 8 romans 8 2 so we have now a new law and the bible called this new law it says for the law of the spirit of the life in christ jesus has made us free now from the law of sin and death amen in the name of the lord jesus christ so now we are new creation the holy spirit is living his life in us the old nature that used to cause us to sin has been crucified with christ we are not under the law again we are delivered from mr law according to romans 7 this mr law we are delivered from him we are delivered from the law we are now working in the newness of the spirit that is not in the oldness of the letter that is not in the ten commandments again but in the newness of the spirit amen in the name of the lord jesus christ so we have received grace not by the works of the law but the, we have received grace now by faith in jesus christ the works of the Lord, if you want to do the works of the law, like people, the other religion who are doing the works of the law, you are trying to tell the Father that Jesus Christ's work was not enough. That is the work that Jesus did on the cross was not enough. But the Bible tells us now that we are complete in Jesus Christ, who is the head of all principality and power. We are complete in Christ. So it's only in Christ you can be free for Mr. Law inside Christ. If anyone be in Christ, is a new creation. And all things have passed away. Everything has become new. So it is in the body of Christ. You can be free from this mystery of Mr. Law in the book of Romans 7. You cannot be free from by yourself. You cannot do the job by yourself. You cannot keep the 600 and something law, the 10 commandments by yourself. Nobody can do it. You can do it only in the body of Christ because in jesus christ is the end of the law the bible says for righteousness to everyone that believe the bible says here christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believe if you believe in jesus christ christ become the end of the law for you so we do not have to keep now the sabbath day we do not have now to keep the 610 law commandment the 10 commandment we don't need how to keep that i see so many christians are trying to do that and they cannot fulfill it they cannot do it in the body they have to be born again jesus said you must be born again so that you can receive a new nature because the old nature the sinful nature you cannot keep the law with that sinful nature you will always come short to the glory of god with your sinful nature you cannot keep the law you have to be born again so you you, you don't have to live in that situation where you'll be like oh don't touch this oh don't do that oh shave your face only on the sabbath day oh wear kejab oh fast uh, the whole ramadan oh uh, praise five times a, a day that will not if you like to do all those things you don't still know the holy spirit that will not take you to heaven wear long shirt wear long gown this is the all the all those laws and the pharisees all of them they could not keep it the jewish people they said they could not keep it that is why jesus christ came to die on the cross to deliver us and redeem us from the law in the name of the lord jesus christ nobody could be able to keep it you can only keep the law only inside jesus christ because the holy spirit is living you now he is your guide he is the one that can help you to fulfill the law because the bible says everything in the whole law is written in one word they say you shall love your neighbor as yourself and how you can only do it through the holy ghost the, the the love that he shared abroad in your heart that is how you can do it you cannot do it by yourself the holy spirit is the one that, that can help you to fulfill the law he can be your guide amen in jesus name not the ten commandment again if you are in the body of christ amen in jesus name so jesus christ is enough so we receive jesus christ as our righteousness jesus christ is perfect so we don't need to add anything to jesus jesus is good enough the father perfect lamb the bible says jesus is without blemish and without spot he is the perfect lamb that god gave to us to redeem us so satan 
you cannot fool us again like the galatian church that paul acts and say will bewitch you galatian church that you should not obey the truth so do you want to go and keep all the laws say if you want to keep all the law then you have fallen from grace if you want if you keep one and you 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 do not keep the rest you have fallen from grace that's what paul was speaking to the galatian church he said stand therefore in the liberty in which christ has made you free don't go and entangle yourself again with the yoke of bondage he said yeah we stand he says stand fast in the liberty in which christ has made you free don't entangle do not entangle yourself again with the yoke of bondage yes the law is the yoke of bondage the law it was a schoolmaster to bring us to christ now that we have come to christ we don't need the schoolmaster again that's why the bible says here the law was just a schoolmaster to bring us to faith now we have faith we don't need again the law amen in the name of jesus christ the holy spirit now is our guide we don't need need the law any longer in the mighty name of jesus so we we say we will not be bewitched or be fool like the galatian church we are redeemed from the cause of the law by jesus christ becoming a cause for us so we have now inherited the abrahamic blessing abraham uh we are now abraham seed. we are also joined here according to the same promise amen in jesus name so we are now just the bible says we are just by faith is through the blood of jesus christ it's not by the law that god justify us is by faith amen so we shall live by faith and not by works of the law we are justified by faith and by not by the works of the law we are crucified with christ nevertheless it is not us that is living again but it is christ that is living his life now in us amen so let us pray, for, uh, brothers and sisters, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this lesson for Bible study today about the law, that the law does not have any dominion again for a born-again Christian because we have now a new law in the spirit and in the life in Christ Jesus that has set us free from the law of sin and death. So we are not under the law again. We are not under the commandment again. The only commandment we have is love. You have access to love our neighbors as ourselves. And you say the love does not steal love don't love does not kill love does not accuse love is good love is kind god love is uh, so you gave us love as the only law that we should keep and we thank you for that father in the name of jesus that we do not frustrate the grace of god in our life because if righteousness come by the lord then christ died in vain so um now we believe father in the name of the lord jesus christ we believe that you gave your son to die for us and it was not in vain he died to redeem us from the law he did die to redeem us from the cause of the law and our life is in him now because we are now in the body of christ we are new creation all things have passed away everything has now become new in jesus name by faith we believe that we are justified by the blood of christ we are reconciled unblameable or reprovable in the sight of god we are holy in your sight father we thank you for that in jesus name yeah, blessed be the god of of our, our father and our lord jesus christ who have also blessed us with all spiritual blessing in the heavenly reign in christ jesus father thank you that we stand now in this liberty in which christ has made us free we refuse to entangle ourselves again with the yoke of bondage the bondage of the law in the name of the lord jesus because we came to deliver us from the cause of the law the law which we have now in the spirit in the life in christ jesus father we thank you that it has set us free from every law of sin and death in jesus name brothers and sisters god bless you in jesus name for this bible study today about the law that the law cannot have dominion over us because we are not under i mean sin cannot have dominion over us because we are not under the law again we are under grace sin have dominion all day for the people who are not born again christians who are still in the world sin have dominion over them till they die with the body of christ they have to die so that they can divorce from mr law amen in jesus name from the queer mr law they can divorce from that mr law only in the body of christ when they die and be crucified with jesus christ together so we were born again christian we are crucified with christ we die to the law we die to sin and so therefore sin and the Lord does not have dominion over us. We are delivered from the Lord. We are delivered from sin in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are walking now unto righteousness. We are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Jesus has become now our righteousness, our sanctification, our wisdom, and our 
our our uh, redemption the bible says in the book of first corinthians 1 verse 30 amen in jesus name so god bless you i wish you a wonderful week in the coming week in the name of the lord jesus christ i'll see you within the week or in the in the next week in jesus name. we are still in the series of new creation we are talking about now uh, i was speaking today about when you are a born again christian the, the lord does not have dominion over you because you are not under your yeah, sin cannot have dominion over you because you are not under the law, but you are under God's favor and under God's grace. Amen. In Jesus' name, the Holy Spirit is now your guide. Glory be to God in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Put the whole armor of God, don't forget, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Fight the good fight of faith. Take hold of internal life in Jesus' name. I thank you for all my new subscribers in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are new, subscribe down below. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Leave your question. Leave any more question that you want for us to discuss about this topic, about the law, about Galatians. Read the book of Galatians. It is an amazing book. It talks about the Romans. If you read from Romans 1, one to Romans 8 is talking all about that, explaining about that, especially Romans 6 and Romans 7. It's talking about the law. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that we are delivered from the law now when we become in the body of Christ. So read Galatian. Galatian was having that problem. Galatian, the book of Galatian church, they were having that problem. So Paul have to address it. That's why it's written. The whole Galatian was explaining just about that. So if you read the book of Galatian, it's talking about the law and how we are free and delivered that Christ came to redeem us from it. So read the book of Galatians. If you have any question, write it down and uh, I'll explain it to you in the name of Jesus. God bless you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Shalom. I will see you in the next audio or in the next video in Jesus' name. Amen.